Mike. Hi, Mike. How are you, my Hi, friend? Good doing? to see you, brother. Good to see you. What's going on at NAM 2015 with you this year? 2015 is a very special NAM. Uh, aside from the convention, I just got married, and we just found out we have a baby on the way. So, congratulations. We don't know if it's going to be a boy drummer or a girl drummer yet, but are you are, are you playing the click track for the baby now? You know what? They uh, we had the first ultrasound yesterday, and I put. Uh, uh, they said, do you want to hear the baby's heartbeat? We were like, sure. So uh, they put, you know, they turned the little microphone, the speakers up, and you heard like, wow, 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 wow. So I started doing paradiddles, like, dude. Like, I started rudimenting along to my baby's heartbeat, and that was that was a magical moment. How cool is that? <laughs> That's kind of cool, yeah. I think next week we'll try Love Machine. <laughs> yeah? Do, 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 da, da, da. Yeah, actually, it was about that go, tempo. Right? Do, 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 da, 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 da. Yeah. There you go. That would have been great. Okay. The other band I want to talk to you about that I like, and I, I mean, I love Wasp. I, the albums that you've done with them, I absolutely love. Oh, cool. Yeah. You'll like the new one. I, oh, Coming I, out. I'm sure I will. Coming I'm out sure. in a couple months, yeah. Very cool. The other one is Hair of the, Hair of the Dog. Hair of the Dog, sure. Which... Out of Nashville, Tennessee, if I'm not mistaken. I was living in Nashville when I hooked up with them. They lived in L.A., so I joined that band, and I moved out to Southern California after that. Okay. And you did two albums with them, right? Two albums, yeah. And toured, toured some. They had toured a lot before I joined the band, and then kind of, you know, typical sob story. We get signed, and then we don't tour as much. Uh, but we got to go out, like we did some shows with Motorhead, right. uh, L.A. Guns. And uh, a lot of our own, we were really big in Wisconsin for some reason. God bless Wisconsin. But uh, no, great band, great guys. I'm still in touch with them. And I mean, it just wasn't in the cards for the band to explode, but it was a great, great learning experience and a whole lot of fun. And you, did a, you guys did a great version of I. <laughs> yeah, I. It's not, not a song that you would think would get chosen, but a great song. Yeah, yeah. We, I mean, yeah, we're all closeted Kiss fans, you know, for sure. I even, like Ryan Cook, the singer, I even had like, you know, arguments with him about, you know, he'd come in all gruff and say, do you see this this new line of KISS action figures that they're coming? It's like, you believe that they're just trying to gouge the money? And we're like, are you going to buy them? And we're like, well, yeah, but but I won't like it, you know. And also, you've also played with John Mellencamp. I did, very, very briefly, when I, that was in 1993, um, a little while ago. I was actually studying with Kenny at IU at the time. And uh, he said Mellencamp had seen me in the Big Red Basketball Pep Band in Bobby Knight Country uh, and wanted to have someone come in and play percussion because the last record uh, that he had put out at that time had like a bunch of like weird trash cans and, and shakers and stuff like that. And so he goes, yeah, get your, get your kid in here to come in and play. So yeah, I was 19 and got to be on the Arsenio Hall show and uh, be in one of the videos and an MTV special and, and actually play drums then uh, later for uh, one track when Kenny wasn't available, when he wanted to like record on the spur of the moment. So yeah, that's Another a very cool. huge learning experience there. That was a lot of fun. That was great. I, I think the teacher, Kenny there is, uh, Kenny's amazing, yeah. you know, and, and just what he teaches other drums. Kenny likes to share his knowledge. Very much, and his knowledge can't, there aren't enough warehouses to fill what Kenny knows. It's like he's been he's been being this you know professional, one of the biggest drum kit guys for years and years and years, and then he comes back to Indiana where he graduated from. As a classical musician, he he graduated from there. He got what's called the performer certificate, which is like the highest honor that you can get. And right, you know, we had classical requirements that had to be taken care of too, and he falls right back into it. He's got like perfect timpani technique and perfect, you know, marimba technique and, and, you know, snare drum rudiments, jazz time, it's everything. It's like, on, you know, a split second on a dime, he can go right back and, have, and just execute all of that stuff perfectly. It's sick. <laughs> and a great guy. And don't get him talking about football because you won't get out of that conversation for a while. Oh, man, that's well, yeah. This you year, know that, right? yeah. This year with Inflate Gate 2015 going on, it's like all that crap. Yeah, I'm sure I would love to hear Kenny's take on the whole thing. Yeah. Very cool. So, and you're playing a Pearl Kid on on the next Wasp album and the tour? I am actually. I have over in Europe a Pearl Kit that I got uh, in 1994. It was the Prestige Custom, right before they came out with the Masters, and it was their, their top of the line. It has the longer lugs, the six-ply maple all the way around, and that is still my number one kit, still my go-to kit over there, and it still sounds killer. It's like, it's held up unbelievably well. Very cool. And, and who's the symbol company you're working with? Got Sabian Symbols. I, I, I got a... 
Do you have a Sabian tattoo like Les Warner from the from we played with the cult? Though? I need the Sabian tattoo. Come in here, Les. Les, come in here. Show him. Les Warner, Mike Dupke. Show him the uh, Sabian. He's with Sabian as well. See. I need one of those, man. L-N-D-W. Nice. Yep. We can't show that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Here's Remo. Exactly. Well, I want to thank you for taking time out with uh, Drumline and speaking to us as well. Wait, so, you thank you. You cannot bring in Les Warner to top me in the Dubkey interview. Oh, that's easy. And we're going to bring in Ellie Bertrand as what well. What the hell? So, drummer's Dad, drummer's give drummer's me the mic back. Okay. All right. So I'm here with a group of drummers, two from Pearl and one from another one. <laughs> Don't mention the name, but Sabian. Is, everybody's. We should be at the Sabian booth. Yes, yeah, seriously. You know, huh? All right. This is Evil Ed, NAM 2015 with... Ellie. Mike Dupke. Les Warner. Drumline. 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 Drumline.